Uh, I am. I'm the chamber president. I get the good fortune of being with people that when they look at the screen and they see blue people, they just laugh and because we don't see that. We, we love all people, and, and I'm grateful to be your president. Um, I'm really excited about some things that are coming up, but something, a few things happened in the chamber just this last week that I wanted to tell you about. We talk about kingdom commerce and creating kingdom commerce, and I just heard a story from members, and some of them are in the room here, and one of our Christian chamber members got to know another new member. They were having a conversation, and she was a brand new business in roofing. And they're really having a hard time tapping into a good sales model for the roofing industry. And this chamber member said, hey, I know somebody that's in the staffing business that could help. Our very own Dawn Sipley. Yes. And she has an extensive background in that industry. So he put them together. And on the spot that day, she was hired by a member from a member from a referral. That's Kingdom Commerce. That's what we do. And we're doing something really special here in Central Florida. And actually, when I first started in this job, I obviously had no experience in chambering at all. I come from oil and gas. And I come from a Fortune 200 company where we had, you know, a budget team and an accounting team and professional, you know, Uh, corporate communications and legal and and all that. And I'm sitting there as the sole employee of this organization going, okay, God, you're showing me all these things that we need to do, but I don't have the resources to do it, and I don't even really know how. And in my spirit, I got a sense of forget about what you want, focus on what you have, and allow God to provide you with what you need. Over and over I heard that. And so I started to focus on God and not what I didn't have. And it was amazing the things that started to happen. And another thing that he showed me in in focusing on him was, Crystal, comparison is the fastest way to kill something special. See, I thought I had to be the best chamber. So I'm looking at like, what are all the other chambers doing? Okay, I got to have government relations and I got to have this. And I realized we're not a traditional chamber. We're different. And then I thought, well, we've got to make sure we get referrals and leads. And so what are the B and Iers doing? Wait a second. You're not B and I. And then I'm like, well, okay, but we're Christians. So that means we got to pray and we probably should do Bible studies at our events. And then like, and then God said, you're not replacing the church. You're not a church. So then I said, well, who are we? Where you are? A Christian chamber is this. A group of business people or people that enjoy business, I love to say business is my sport because I work at it every day, who are kingdom minded. We put God first. And then in doing so, we build our businesses with that relationship with God. And then that money that we earn as we work together is pushed out into our communities and tied into our churches. What we do is we form relationships, and we network with each other, okay? We get exposure for our businesses. I saw the expo tables back here. We have sponsorships. But you just being here and telling your story and telling other people what you do, that's exposure for your business. And lastly, we deliver great content. You're going to see that today. So that's how we help you succeed. And then we pray for each other, okay? When we're blue on that screen, we love each other anyway. And we applaud for each other. And we take pictures and then blackmail each other, just like family does. I don't know where y'all grew up, but I'm from Moscow, Kansas. This is like what we do. And we give referrals to each other. We saw that referral process work with Don Sipley and some other members. And let me just say this. This happened also last Friday. We have Fellowship Fridays every week. And this gentleman right here who will end the the program with prayer, he drove all night to get to that Fellowship Friday. He drove all night because he just lost his brother and he just lost his sister. And he needed to be around people that loved him, could show him love, and encourage him. Golly, 
we encourage each other. Because when we're doing business in a fallen and a broken world, and it is not easy out there, and I don't know about any of you guys, but when I signed up to be an entrepreneur, nobody told me I would work 80 hours to avoid that 40-hour work week. Nobody told me that it would be hard. Nobody told me that the opportunity to let my ethics just lean a little this way would be there. But to have each other to strengthen, to pray, to support, that's who we are in the Christian chamber. Somebody said, said to me, it's a kind of a refreshing alternative. So we know who we're not, and we're excited to see what we are as we grow up. But Central Florida, keep growing, keep inviting, and keep coming to these meetings because maybe you don't need it, but somebody that drove all night might need you. And that's why we exist, and that's who we are. So thank you for being here today.